Ladies, gentlemen, from today, April 27th, until the end of time, the Oppressor Mark II will be costing you $8 million to acquire, or $6 million for the trade price. Following that, there's also some other vehicles that have gone up or down in price. The weaponized Ignis for those on PS5 and Xbox Series X and S will now cost you $4.5 million. The Tereo Door will now cost you $4.25 million and also has gone up in price. The Deluxo has gone up in price to $5.75 million or if you want to get the trade price, you can get it for $4.3 million. In order to unlock the trade price, all you have to do is do the Doomsday setup mission called Signal Intercepts. The Scramjet has also gone up in price for now $4 million and the Akula follows suit with $4.5 million. The trade price for the Akula can be acquired by doing the Doomsday High setup mission called Server Farm. The trade price for it will then become $3.3 million. The Bambushka has actually seen a price decrease now costing you $4.75 million or the trade price being $3.5 million. In order to unlock the trade price for the Bambushka, all you you have to do is do 24 air freight cargo missions so you know just the source missions it's still way too expensive for the vehicle by the way it's not very good save your money like with the Bambushka, the Chula has also gone down in price, now only costing you $4.1 million or about 3 million bucks for the trade price. To unlock the trade price for the Chula, you also have to do air freight cargo missions. A total of 21 source missions will unlock you the trade price. Like with the Bambushka, this is still way too expensive for a plane that is relatively useless. The Runer 2000 has also gone down in price and quite significantly too, we're talking about 2 million bucks. Coming in at a cool 3.75 million dollars or 2.8 million dollars for unlocking the trade price by doing the special vehicle work mission Arms Embargo. This is one of the more interesting vehicles in the game, it's also pretty useful, but still for nearly 4 million bucks, it might be a good idea to wait for a sale. And because the Oppressor Mark II has gone up in price, the Oppressor Mark I has gone down in price, now costing you 2.75 million dollars or about 2 million bucks for the trade price. For the trade price, all you have to do is do the mobile operation mission as a leader called Work Dispute. For that, in order to unlock that mission, you also have to do sourcing missions in your bunker, so it might take you a little bit of time. It's up to you if you find that worth it. The Oppressor Mark 1 is still one of the stronger vehicles within the game. It's also a lot of fun to use, and especially with the Oppressor Mark 2 now getting a hefty price increase. If you don't already have an Oppressor Mark 2, maybe this might be a relatively decent buy, especially with how quick you can spawn it inside of the free roam sessions. The Armored Boxville has also seen a pretty significant price decrease to $1.3 million and about $1 million bucks for the trade price. To unlock the trade price, all you have to do is do the special vehicle work mission called End of Transmission. Uh, it's not a very good vehicle, it can be shut down with one RPG and it's overall just rather slow, but if you want something different, maybe worth picking up. The thruster has also gone down in price, now costing you a cool $2.5 million or about $1.9 million for the trade price. To get a trade price, all you have to do is do the Doomsday High setup mission called the Doomsday Scenario, which is literally the final mission in Act 3. If it's entirely worth it, it can be a bit of fun. It is actually really hard to hit you with lock-on missiles in this thing. So if you want something different, maybe worth picking up, but I'd definitely say wait for a sale. The Stromberg also has gone down their price to two and a half million dollars or about 1.9 million dollars for the trade price in order to unlock the trade price all you have to do is complete the doomsday high setup mission called submarine recon uh, definitely worth picking up actually especially now with the Tereo door having seen a price increase the lock-on missiles on the stromberg are one of the strongest ones in the game especially with the nerf to the oppressor mark ii this one is definitely a bit of a force to be reckoned with also very useful if you ever need to go inside of the uh, water without wanting to swim because you know it has that feature the Trinobog has also seen a pretty significant decrease in price to 1.5 million dollars and about 1.1 million dollars for the trade price to get a trade price all you have to do is complete the doomsday high setup mission escort ulp um, it's not a very good vehicle in the grand scheme of things because it can easily be shot down But you know if you ever want to shoot about 12 rockets at someone within a few seconds Then I guess this is the vehicle for you Meanwhile the champion has seen a relatively significant increase to its price to 3.75 million dollars or 2.8 million dollars for the trade price In order to unlock the trade price for the champion you have to complete the missions 
studio time as the leader, which basically means completing uh, one of the Dr. Dre missions in the agency. The grantor also seeing a price increase to about $2 million and $1.5 million for the trade price. In order to unlock the trade price for the grantor, all you have to do is complete five security contracts, which doesn't take a whole lot of time. So it's definitely worth to save you half a million bucks. Heck, you might even make some money to put it towards your new Granger. Though generally speaking, it's one of the lesser good SUVs in the game, especially with now being two million bucks, it's hard to be recommending anytime soon. Unless you want to have like the SUV have completely kitted out with anti-lock on missiles and being armored and that sort of stuff, just as a status symbol, maybe. But anyways, that is all for this one. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it or found it useful, make sure to leave it a like, subscribe for more. And if you like what you see in the channel, become a member like Chloe and GTA+. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all later.